Hello and welcome back to SnowRunner Season 14 and today we're looking at the Earth Rumours. Are they ready for SnowRunner Season 14 release which is scheduled for October? We haven't got a confirmed date yet but there has been quite a few changes and you see on the map I haven't really explored very much at the moment so I thought we'd go and head off down this area and see what it's like. Now I have upgraded the engine and got the bigger tyres, bigger suspension on it so we're taking out the sx this is the yeah that's the lti no this is the lti what am i about you can see we've got the service on the side now where we have got service points being added so on the sx oh you get 500 repair points three tires and 160 liters of fuel and then on the lti you get 450 repair points and three tires and same fuel 160 now we're we've got switchboard all-wheel drive and i'll tell you what we will leave it without just to see how it gets on because the the way they set these vehicles up lately well it's going to struggle there they've done a lot better job than they've done in the past whereas the the Chevy, for instance, the standard Chevy, when you're driving in that in non all wheel drive, it's um, it feels like it's just pushing it. Well, it just doesn't feel right whatsoever. I'll tell you what, we haven't even been up this way. We should set some markers. This is the right way I want to go. I want to head down here and head down towards uh, that way. And I apologize if you hear the snoring, that's my little dog. I've tried to get her to move and she's not happy she's like no I'm staying here right into the first bit of mud and I'll tell you what let's go with a bit of diff lock because they have got engageable diff lock on both of them so now we have all the winches and there is I'm using the I think it was the I can't even remember the name of it the it was at the bottom it is non autonomous but it is extra power. And I wish they would stif stiffen the, um, soften the suspension a little bit. On all the base game trucks, they're just a little bit too hard. I don't know why they do that. Well, also the colors for the Earth Roamers, the, well, the multi-colors, they're not there anymore now. The, the Earth Roamer, guys didn't really want that because they did look a bit pants really didn't they but but is it in a good skate well it does get the job done it really does i think it is a vehicle what you can actually go and explore the map especially where you got your radar Been a little bit stuck there let's go into a bit of low diff lock on we've also upgraded the fuel tank now where we've got a 260 litre on this one so that's got to be the biggest skate we've got in the game so far well biggest fuel tank which you should be able to cover quite a big old area of that we're not burning too much fuel at the moment only used 18 litres so far pop that back into auto oh bugger whoa 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 gotta be careful I haven't got autonomous now the SX has got a 280 litre tank on it. There's a few AI uh, UI problems in the in the menus to fix, but apart from that, they do sort of look ready to go. Inside now, we've got everything looking pretty good there. And I'll tell you what, let's flick through the camera, put it at night so you can see the lights on it. Because I wasn't really didn't like the scent of it there that looks a bit pants in my opinion but there you go right put that change that time back to leave it on six oh, we're at, oh, d oh bugger pressing all the wrong buttons here come on get out of that thank you right here we go yeah nice a set of lights on there as well does look really nice this is obviously the Ford 
derived one and the other one's a Chevy. Uh, I thought we'd give it a go without autonomous and see how far I get and I'm surprised. The first time I took this out it was a little bit tippy but they seem to have sorted that out a little bit now because it doesn't seem to be rolling half as much. Bit of high gear, what's that like? Yeah, that gets the job done. That's a decent speed for high. Not too slow. And not too quick. Just right. Put it back into the auto. And that suspension, yeah, see there, we're getting that bounce. When you're just softening up, it'd be nice when somebody, uh, somebody gets their hands on this, softens up that suspension, and it'd be beautiful. But they do go really well. All the DLC vehicles being released lately are just, well, a lot better than the first, sort of, the first two years. They were quite bad for some of the vehicles that come out. No power, no grip. It was like, well, what are we paying for here? But now, they seem to have turned the corner over the last, well, quite a few DLCs now. Put the diff locks in. Get on that winch. Where everything's getting better. You know, they're a vehicle now on base game. I don't really like the vanillas too much, but over the last, um, few DLCs, well quite a few DLCs now, they're uh, a lot better. So I'll tell you what, we will just keep driving. I was going to do a radar but I thought well, we don't need to, we can just keep going. And I did have a, a radar, um, a, not a radar, I did have a, a tank, a fuel tanker with a drone gear. And I meant to bring that. We might go and jump in the in the other Roma in a minute. Now we've got a road trail going off that way. I don't think I really want to go up there with it. How far in are we now then? Because that must be at the edge of the map. Let's do a radar. You can see this is slightly changed now where they've done enable GPS instead of radar. And as soon as I saw that, I thought, I bet the GGMS bobblehead radar doesn't work now. And it doesn't. There's a bug with it. Or did they do it on purpose? The error has been scanned. Close that up, let's have a look. Right, so that's the corner, the bottom end of the map there. I should have gone up there really and we could have, uh, Oh, that was that. Yeah, we're not going to drive up there. But that looks pretty good for exploring up there. Look at all that. Loads of rock climbing. I'll tell you what, let's go in and jump into the SX. Not that one, that one there. And take this one out for a spin. As they are pretty similar. Right, this one. We've got this trailer, it's a mod. If I remember, I'll link it in the description. Now, one of the other things they've changed as well is that you cannot well, put the red um, ramp trailer. It won't take that anymore, as it wasn't that good at towing anyway, but you can't put that on. Now, this view, oh, wrong button, there we go. There's a drone eye view of the garage and the surrounding area. Same, we can't zoom in a little bit here, but isn't that pretty cool? It looked a bit better as soon as the mist is cleared up. All right, let's put that onto the next view. And then this time, I think we will head, well, that's got down to that way a little bit. So we should just head Take that trail up that way. We go up that way and then we'll head up that way and see how we, and again, we haven't done this bottom corner, but there's no road there, is there? 
Oh, there is. We can go along that way. So we want to head towards this way and go and get in that corner. So this is the larger one, the SX, and that's without all wheel drive on at the moment. I do. I should have looked on the map really, shouldn't I? Or put a few markers. It doesn't matter. They both go to the same point. We can go whichever way we want. All right, high gear. What's that like? Hmm. Yeah. All right, go around the lake. Oh, slow it down. Yeah, and there wasn't much roll on that. Brilliant, love it. So there is a bridge to rebuild there by the looks of it. And I've got top engine, got the snow running gearbox as well. Uh, I, I don't tend to use the base game. It seemed a little bit, um, well, the bottom base, bottom engine with gearbox, it was just a bit like, yeah, if you want to get there in 10 days, do that but we are flying on the asphalt it's not a bad grip actually now I've gone totally the wrong way I was gonna go but never mind that trailer is skipping around all over the place so where the hell have I gone now I think we'll just keep keep going all we got problems here now this is one of the great features will we get through as we have got crumbling roads we need to be as close over that side as possible we ain't getting through there or we'll drive we might oh look at that oh oh whoa oh bugger oh shit what happened there of course it winched onto there and I haven't got autonomous so yeah not good okay so that didn't go well that I did say I was gonna roll it there but never mind we will continue with the earth Roma the uh, I'm getting them confused now the SX no this is the eight LTI. Oh dear. I did put a snorkel. No, I didn't put a snorkel on. That might be why that was happening then. But yeah, these do seem to go pretty well. I think we get the tractors. I, I might have to go with them. Gotta squash some pumpkins. Gotta be done. And see what they're like with the um, log inside of it. I've got to open up a bit more of the map yet, so I was hoping to do a stream but just haven't had time to get on it, but might be able to over the weekend now. Fly in through. Take those pumpkins out. Right, I've lost my marker now. Where are we heading? Oh that was it. Right, so that is the edge of the map there. I wanted to go to that watchtower there. I think if we head up there, I'm not stuck. No. Oh yeah, it's not far away. Oh. Yeah, I should have probably just gone up the road there because this isn't going to be good. Let's not go up there. I end up getting beached or something roll over but it doesn't struggle whatsoever let's have a bit of high gear soaks it up no issues nice little water to the left hand side there and then we come up to my favorite part of snow runner farming 
we have the bales. There is a mission to pick these up. Oh. We are going a little bit off-road here, but that is how it should be. You should be able to just drive where you want. And like the starter snow, weren't it? A lot of the maps were restricted by trees and what have you. But that high gear just gets the job done. It just hasn't stopped. It's only burn burning hardly any fuel. Right, let's put it into auto. Yeah, look at that go straight up. Eight litres. Seven litres, six litres. Oh, we're losing momentum. Still going to spin though. Look at that. Loving it. So it was, might actually be a skate that you can use and go and do the whole bloody map. Go and open it all up. Radar on board, so you're sorted. However, there is a if you use the GGMS radar, you don't get any radars anymore. So bear that in mind, which is a bit of a shame. Hopefully that that's just a bug what will get fixed. Hopefully. Uh, that backdrop looks beautiful. It really does. Looking forward to um, Roadcraft. That is going to be the game I'm most excited about. Now we're going to drive up that way. Let's have a quick look on the map. Yeah, there is a road going up that way. We'll head up, yeah, up to there, go up to that point. At 11, the train. Oh, bit of low, get the diffs in. Don't really need them, I don't think. It seems to go well without, as he says, and he's like, no, stops. Why the hell is the road here? We need high. Oh yeah. Oh yes. And hasn't stored. Awesome. Right, where's the road? Get right there, that, yeah. Now we stored, we stopped. Hasn't got that bad a turning radius on it either. We are nearly there. And I didn't manage to roll this one. But we will take it easy. Oh yes. Launch observation. Beautiful map. Upgrade location discovered. Right out well we will leave it there for today. I hope you've enjoyed this uh, testing out the new Earth Roamers coming for season 14. Oh I think we can go down there if we take it slowly. Which uh, will be, as soon as we get a release date, I'll let you know. I think the next thing we're going to hear of is Expeditions Co-op, which is something I've been waiting for on console. I haven't been playing it until uh, that happens, really. A bit more power up there. So thanks for watching. Hit those likes on the way out, and I'll see you on the next one.